This is KMAX Technology Tuesday, sponsored by Blue Layer Innovative Technology Solutions. It has now been more than a year and a half since Apple's AirTags first launched, which means if you have some, the batteries could be dead. Yeah, our Rich DeMiro shows us how to replace those and gives us a look at some other useful trackers on the market. For all of the privacy concerns surrounding Apple's AirTags, they have turned out to be quite useful for keeping track of everything from pets to luggage. By now, the batteries might need replacing. Open the Find My app and look for a low battery symbol. To replace one, start with the Apple logo facing you, then press and twist. AirTag takes a CR2032 battery. Those with bitter coatings might not work. Once you've replaced it, twist it back on. A confirmation chirp means you did it right. For a similar device at a lower price, check out Walmart's on item locator. It uses Apple's same vast Find My network, but at 15 bucks, it's half the price of an AirTag. The battery is user replaceable, and there's a speaker to help you find it. You can see its last known location on a map, but unlike an AirTag, it doesn't have precision finding, but there is a built-in loop for a key ring. Now that's key, pun intended. If you want a tracker that fits in your wallet, check out the Chipolo Card Spot. It's $35 and about the size of a credit card. It also uses Apple's Find My Network. Slip it in your wallet and you might never lose it again. See the last known location on a map and play a sound to help you find it. The downside, you can't replace the battery yourself. It lasts for about two years. After that, you can send it in to exchange for a new card at half the price.